every wildebeest needs a good friend who is true. A shoulder to cry on, because that's what friends do. One who knows when to laugh and a listener too. That someone is Kanga for Akai the Gnu. Akai met dear Kanga the first time he flew on a flight that was headed to places anew. It was all very strange and it scared Kangaroo. And his paw held the hoof of young Okai the Gnu. From that day they were friends and the bond grew and grew. They stood close together that day in the zoo. And the Glasgow keepers then very well knew those friends needed to be in a room made for two. People thought it was strange to see two stuck like glue. When one of them moved, the other did too. They stayed side by side. They were friends through and through. The younger new Okai and his friend Kangaroo. If Kanga was sad, Aww. Okai knew what to do. He'd hop around the yard and say, I'm just like you. He would talk like the old friends that Kangaroo knew. The koala, the dingo and platypus too. When Okai felt sad, oh. as indeed we all do, then the cheering up task was done by Kangaroo. Okai missed his herd. He missed Africa too. They sang African songs. And the lions joined in too. Kangaroo was his friend, and everyone knew that playing with one would mean playing with two. They shared water and food, and they shared blankets too. They shared a great love, did that Kanga and Gnu. When you go to Scotland, Make sure that you do. Take a trip just to see what's at Glasgow Zoo. You might see those friends they could not break in two. I mean, Okai the Gnu and his friend Kangaroo.